Now check it out, we are back at Dollywood and we're here for the Flower and Food Festival. First year they've ever had this. Got a sneak peek of it just the other day. Check out the other video of you know what's required, what we can expect from Dollywood. Got the crazy kids back here. I don't know if you can recognize them or not. They look like mass bandits from the arm, from the arm robberies or something, you know, old West kind of style here. Uh, everybody's wearing masks. And that's you know one of the requirements here at Dollywood. And that's okay. These are not that bad. It's not that hot today. There are areas we can take them off in. We'll, we'll see all that after a while. But what we're going to check out today, as you see behind us, is the Flower and Food Festival going on. Beautiful decorations. Can't wait to try. I, I, I got a... A hint at what some of the food's gonna be. We're gonna check all that out, try it out, see how it is, and then we're gonna we're gonna try it out. So, like, subscribe, comment down below, and let's go check everything out. So as you see, you are taking your mask off while you take pictures. So, because you're far enough away from everybody who is not uh, wear a mask. Okay, a lot of people have been asking, uh, you know, about these cups. Now, we had this cup from our previous visit season, our season pass holder preview day. What they're doing now is they will not fill up this cup directly. They will give you a cup of whatever you ask for, and then you have to pour it into this. So that's how that's working. So you can use the refillable cups here, and they didn't charge you for it because this is the all-season cup. But instead of filling it up, they just give you a Coke, and you got to do it. So that's how that works. Y'all look at this beautiful, beautiful show street. Love these umbrellas. What do you think, Crazy Nana? Mm -hmm. Umbrellas are pretty, ain't they? Beautiful. Yeah. What are them growing on that tree? I don't pine know. Cone. It's a type of pine cone. Yeah, I guess so. Let's take a close look here. That is a type of okay, pine it's a type tree. of pine cone. The type of pine tree. You know, it grows a type of pine cone. There you go. Y'all look at these uh, umbrella in the butterflies. Beautiful monarch butterflies. It's pretty nice the way they have all this set up. A lot of work put into that. And even have a guest uh, associate here, a host. I will take your picture in front of it if you want. I got the park looking really, really good this year. As you come down Show Street, the first shop you come to is a festival shop. Let's look around and see what all they have in here. Fragrances and stuff back here. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, how you doing? Oh, you're fine. <laughs> they do have the fashion masks in here. How much are the masks? $5.99. That's not bad. It's not bad. No, they're actually really comfortable. Well, if you notice, I have a different mask on now. Uh, the other ones, the neck gaiters, they are real hot around through here. Dollywood sells these for $5.99. And if you have a gold patch, you get 20% off. So, hey, if you whatever's bothering you, the mask is bothering you that you have, they do have masks here. Coming into Market Square, there's another festival shop here. Ooh. And here you can find a lot of Dollywood merch. I'll check out some of this stuff. 
perfect. Flower and food merch. Uh, of course, the Dollywood 2020 stuff, which I probably will be purchasing some of later on. Thirty-five years of Dollywood. Well, we are in Market Square. You see a lot of toper areas are set up. And there's signs here about the topiaries. areas. Little butterflies, beautiful things. You see people want to take selfies in front of them with their masks on. Just want to remember, isn't it? Now this right here was told to us the other day that that is representing Dolly's mother sewing the coat of many colors. There's a sign over here explaining all of it. Took a lot of work. That is pretty. That is beautiful. As you see, there are some uh, booths set up around here. One there, one over there. That has different uh, festival foods. And of course, you know, Market Square, there's more through there. And there's more on the other side, and we will be checking that out here in just a little bit. Checking out some of all that food. And here's all the steps that it takes to put together these beautiful, beautiful cup areas you all see in here. A lot involved in it. Now, also, all indoor theaters are closed, but that doesn't mean you can't see the shows. The shows are now moved out to the sidewalks. So the gym tones that you normally see here in the Pines Theater will be on the sidewalk singing. Now, if you happen to have watched the uh, video of what we can expect at Dollywood, here's something that was in that video. Is a hand washing sink. Now we see towel dispenser, we got soap, and we have water. So as you walk through the park, there are places to wash your hands. Want to try it out, Jimbo? Yeah. You gotta turn it on, then you gotta pump with your foot, and there you go. You can wash your hands. Crazy Nana wants to try the blueberry tart. What about the blueberry lavender lemonade? You want to try some of that? Yeah. I think the kids might like that. They're over here. They're not really telling me what they want to try, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. All right, we have our blueberry tart and some of that lemonade. We're gonna give it a try here and, uh, and uh, see how it goes, y'all. Y'all see how it is? Take a sip of your lemonade there, Jumbo. Let's see what you think. What's it taste like? You plain lemonade or you got blueberry? Really? Huh? You like it, huh? Good? All right. Now I'm going to get this fork open here in a minute. We're going to get this blueberry tart a try. Should we try lemonade there, Michael? No. It must be good. They're going after that lemonade pretty hard though. Crazy and then digging in. You little crust. Try to get a little crust action going there. Here comes the train. good what I could make. It is okay. It's probably better. What about you, Michael? Want to try some of it? Okay. 
You're good. You don't want. You're not much on blueberries. You really ain't. Y'all try some blueberry tart pie? Yeah. I don't know Jumbo could go after it. We gotta learn to make that Jumbo. Alright, boy. Like that? Yeah. Okay, now I think I'm gonna try the uh, chili limes skirt steak and let Nana try these caramelized Brussels sprouts and maybe get even a toasted coconut cupcake. I think I'm gonna get all three here. Because all that just sounds good. Okay, we got us some uh, chili lime skirt steak, some caramelized Brussels sprouts, and a toasted coconut cupcake. We're gonna give these a try now. When I say we, I'm not trying them Brussels sprouts. What about you, Michael? He said, nope, he's not trying Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna see how this works out. All right, Bryson said he's gonna try the cupcake. How about there, Michael? Toasted coconut. Now, I don't like coconut, so I'm not gonna try that either. That's a big old cupcake, though. It really is. Take your mask off, man. All right, give it a try, man. Oh, get Michael to help him. Here we go. You like a toasted coconut? They good? All right. Well, crazy kid approved. Toasted coconut for the, before the win. He's going back for more. Right, crazy Nana is going to try these caramelized Brussels sprouts. We have to do these on the Blackstone for one day. See how she likes them. Mmm, she said. I think she, I think she likes it. Had to figure how they make those. You got a close look at them. Now see, I just, I just can't do the Brussels sprouts. I'm sorry, y'all. I just can't. I'm gonna try this chili lime skirt steak. These kids have been dying to dig into it. Go ahead and try your bite, Junior. Get you a fork and try you a bite. Or pick it up your fingers. However. Oh, he's shaking his head. You taste the chili and the lime in it? Tastes like a taco. Tastes like a taco? Wow. You like a Jumbo? I'm about to make that on a Blackstone too. Huh? Tastes just like a taco. Tastes just like a taco. Well, let, let, let Nana, crazy Nana try some here. And I'm gonna tell you what, that might be a meal there. Some skirt steak and What's some uh, some uh, caramelized Brussels sprouts. What's that? It does taste like a taco. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's awesome. So now a little bread there. And get you a little close-up look here of it. Little tomatoes down there. Yeah. That's all right. Caramelized Brussels sprouts. And what's left of our toasted, uh, toasted uh, cupcake. All right, now this booth has the uh, some gyros and gyro. Rosso pasta? I can't pronounce that. But that's what I have. So we may be trying out here in just a little bit. As you see, there is just stuff everywhere. There's another festival shop over here. Let's go see what it is. Now this is the one I know we're gonna get something from. This citrus shrimp. Chocolate dip coconut macaroon and strawberry guava quencher. Yeah, we have to try these. Give you an idea what the prices look like here. And uh, yeah, let's give these a try. Okay, we went ahead and got the uh, strawberry guava, the uh, citrus shrimp, and the chocolate macaroons. Junior is wanting to really try that strawberry guava. Go ahead, buddy. Really? Is it better than lemonade? You like it better than lemonade? Okay. So, doodle butt thinks about it. Oh, he's crazy kid approved. Oh, well, Michael's reaching for it. You can leave out. You can leave out. Well, he went right for a second sip. What's that? It's really good. It tastes like a fruit punch. A fruit like punch. Vitamin water mixed with fruit punch. Vitamin water right and fruit right punch. That's good.
Yeah. Really good. Okay. okay. I like the lemonade better. Like the lemonade butter? Okay. Well, yeah. the kids like that one better than lemonade. Now, Jumbo is going to give this citrus shrimp a try. Let's see if we can pull one off the skewer there. Mm. Spot it up. There you go. There you go. Pull it. Pop it in your mouth, bro. Good? You like it? That's good. Oh, we tried some rice with it. That's good. That's good. You like that, huh? Y'all look at that. The beautiful shrimp. Now, for what these crazy kids have really been wanting to try, it's Let these it. chocolate macaroons. We'll let Nana try them. She's the dessert expert. So let's see what's what's going on here. Because the desserts are getting made around the house. She has a recipe for them. Can try them. I've never seen nobody eat a macaroon with a fork, but okay. Look, that thing is full of coconut. That's, ooh, good bite there. Give y'all a close look at that inside of that macaroon. Well, try to. There you go. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Man. It's almost like a um, coconut pie. Like coconut pie with chocolate on it, huh? Really? Is it good though? You like it? Okay. Uh, All right. Now, you know, I am a sucker for barbecue pork. Man, we got pork sliders. We got chocolate ganache brownie. We got watermelon slime. Lime. Not slime, but lime. Fresco. So I'm gonna tell you what. We've already eaten a lot, but you know I gotta try this. The barbecue with that chocolate brownie and a watermelon lime all that just sounds good together don't let's go get us some well there's our pork slider I got some pineapple on there looks actually pretty good and well I'm gonna skip over that for a minute there's our watermelon uh, what was it watermelon lime Fiesta yeah. fresco yeah but there there is the chocolate ganache brownie I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right what would you call it chocolate brownie you know, I'm not fancy. That's a chocolate brownie, but it, it, it's got a fancy name, and we're going to eat it all fancy like, ain't we, y'all? See, Bryson might be a mango. I don't know. See, Bryson knows how to do it. He's just digging. <laughs> he's getting it all on there. Ain't that right, buddy? Except for the bread. What you think? You like it? All right. Oh, Junebug's going to try some now. See how it is. I said, we're not official taste testers of anything, as you can see, but we know how we like our food. And there, Rajin Bug. There we go. Big old bite. That's where you do it. What's that, bud? Good. You like it? What all flavors are you getting out of it? Sweet. Sweet. Like it's a pineapple sweet. kind of sweet? Mango? Like a fruity sweet? Like a fruity sweet. A fruity sweet? Okay. It's like fruits. But it does look like and it. And I mean, smoke. Actually, Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Michael, what about that drink you got over there? Well, you tried the other drinks. Is that one better than the other ones? Yeah. It is? Like. You don't know what it tastes like? Yeah, I feel like I had it before, but I don't know what it tastes like. Oh, okay. Uh oh, she, yeah, I seen them eyes. Oh, yeah, she's liking that one. Well, it's Crazy Nana and Crazy Michael approved. Oh, Crazy Bryson. Let's see if Crazy Keith goes for it. Okay, everybody loves that. No, we didn't. And for some reason, I think they're going to hate this chocolate brownie. All right, Bryson's got a piece of that brownie now. Got the little one try the brownie. You love the chocolate too, don't you? Let's look on the inside of this thing. Oh yeah, to zoom it's a in lot there. of icing. That is, well, not, yeah, it's a lot of icing. That looks like some rich, rich chocolate. Cut your piece and try it there, Jumbo. Pretty thick too. Pretty thick. Like it? All right, let's pass it around the table. Wow, so it's full of chocolate, huh? 
Got a family back there playing. Uh oh, Michael. Mm. It took him a minute for it to like to hit in. It's almost like that chocolate was in there, and all of a sudden, boom, it hit him. It tastes like chocolate. Tastes like what? Chocolate fudge. Okay. Now I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate. I know, but I might try a piece here in a little bit. What, well, Nanner? Oh, thumbs up on that. So I tell you what, that stand is a hit with this crowd. It's got like chocolate chips in it, dude. Uh-huh. It does, don't it? Let's see if I can zoom in. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Camera ain't want to focus. There we go. It does you have need a drink, Yeah. So I tell you what, this whole stand is a hit. The barbecue, the uh, the uh, chocolate brownie that's getting gone quick, the drink right here. They're loving that stand, that's for sure. Hey boys! Michael got it finally! Alright, we have now the Italian sub. I know I said earlier that we was getting full, but it's been a little bit and the kids are getting hungry again. That's just to kind of dissect this sub here for a minute. Y'all look in there. Let's look at the meats down in there. Oh, yeah. With some pickled vegetables. Spinning on around here. We're going to give this thing a try. And we got the blood orange lemonade. The man at the booth said that's probably his second favorite being the watermelon lime being the favorite. So, this is what we have. We have the Italian sub and the blood orange lemonade. And uh, two of the crazy kids are on the river rampage over there right now. So, they might just be missing out. I don't know, we're gonna give this a try. All right, crazy Nana now is gonna try this blood orange, or orange blood lemonade. Blood orange lemonade, I don't know. Now, I like blood oranges. Somebody, oh, she's liking that. It tastes like it's got a little bit of grapefruit in it. Okay. <coughs> it's good. Good? It's lemon. Lemon? <coughs> it tastes okay. like it tastes of lemon. Uh-oh, okay. She's going back for more? You need help picking it up? You got it? I know we've caught a lot of flack on uh on our channel before about letting the kids try stuff, but I'm gonna tell you what, if a kid don't like it, they ain't gonna lie about it. Ain't that right? If you don't like it, you ain't gonna lie, are you, man? You're gonna be honest that you don't like it. You like that? There you go, see, and it's got the vegetables on it and the pastrami and the, all the other good stuff that Italian sandwiches are known to have. And the five-year-old loves it. How's that? You wanna try the blood orange lemonade now? Okay. Me and you will drink, me, you, and Pop will drink it now. Yeah, that's ours, okay? See if you like that as well you do the, the, the watermelon. You like it? You want to make them at home for you? All right. There you go. This is Bryson approved. Look, he's going back for more. Take a big bite this time, buddy. Okay. okay. There you go. Huge bite. There. Wow. I mean, tomato and all. That's what I'm talking about. There you go, buddy. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna try this sub now that they keep on eating in front of me and won't let me have a bite. Mm. That is really good. Fast Italian sub. They didn't put any kind of dressing on this, but you really taste the flavors of the meat and that's fresh. Now that's what really, I mean that's crisp lettuce, fresh tomatoes, fresh onions. The meat has great flavor. The cheese is great. Uh, really good job. Really good job. Try this blood orange. Ooh. I believe I like this the best. Better than the watermelon and lime. I like this. That is really good. Italian sub. With this, it's paired well. Great job on that booth, too. I love this. 
Now here is a booth that has not been open. They said they didn't have enough staff to run it today. I really, really was looking forward to trying some of this out, especially that strawberries and cream. Strawberry hibiscus refresher. Good chance. Good. Come over here and look at the prices of them. Yeah. But this one has been closed all day. So, hey, maybe next trip, maybe next trip, we'll get to try it out. All right, well, I mean, we're not expert food tasters by no means, but we know good food when we try it. And tell you what, a lot of that was some good food. Oh, man, I wish I could have tried one of everything. I really do. But you've seen what they offered. Uh, and it was delicious. It really was. Dollywood, great job. I mean, Dollywood always excels with their food. And didn't disappoint this time. So far, we're really enjoying this flower and food festival. Let's look around a little more. This seems to be the thing with Dollywood here lately. And it's true, better days are ahead. And I'm glad to see that they have positive things throughout the park like this. Letting us know that, hey, it's gonna get better. Look at my dad. Y'all check this out, I finally ran into Miss Lillian. For all this time. Hello, my dear. We're flapping our chicken wings with our mask on. We got it going on. I'm so happy that you. Oh, my chicken wings. Thanks for being here. Woo! Hey! Oh, chicken little's all prepared. He's got his mask on. And Pikachu. Pikachu Jr. He uh he grew a mustache during the quarantine. I didn't have the heart for him to shave it off. It makes him feel good about his mouth. You know we all need to do that. Yes, he's a blessing for your healthy chicken. I've been waiting for chicken blessings for years. Oh, Jeff, you got it. <laughs> we need some healthy chicken sugar with the last going. How about that? <laughs> we'll see you on Facebook. We're gonna go back to chicken ready. Love you, baby. Here in front of the uh, blacksmith shop, they have a lot of stuff set up for the flower festival, also that you can actually buy. A few more items here in the uh, the uh, blacksmith shop here. Feel good out in the gardens. I got signs showing all the uh, puppy areas around here. Let's come check some of these out. fun looking things here. Frog over there. Throw the ride and camel back over here. Having them a good time. Hey Mr. Turtle. One of them stations here that uh they have sitting around here during the uh, flower and food festival. Let's go check out Mr. Froggy over here. 
I actually really like this one. I don't know why, but. Got the part really looking good this year. Oh. Man, this is awesome with these umbrellas. Now, in case you didn't see my other video uh, it, uh, pertaining to these umbrellas, the umbrellas were actually hung by all Dollywood employees. Their own, the park themselves hung them. They actually were supposed to be hung by somebody else. But due to all the mess going on, they couldn't get here. So they figured out how to do it themselves, and Dollywood pulled it off. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. Dollywood did an awesome job doing this. Show Street is Beautiful. The flowers, the umbrellas, the big topiaries up here. They do have a, still have live shows going on outside. I mean, it's still Dollywood. walk around here just to just admire this. This is amazing. I'm having to walk a good ways away from it. Just to give you an idea of what's going on with it. I mean, it's just amazing, but beautiful. Awesome job on this Dollywood. Pins. The flower and food festival umbrella pins. Just all kinds of things. That's a fridge magnet. Check it out. I might have to give me one of those. Y'all know I love my magnets now. Definitely, I'm probably gonna get one of those. I like these Dollywood shirts. Whew. What a day. Now that was awesome. Did you see we start we got different masks and we started with they sell these masks in here for six bucks. They're a lot more comfortable actually than they look. Very breathable. Wasn't that hot. That wasn't that bad. But I'm gonna tell you what. Beautiful flower and food festival. Loved it. The food was delicious. Did you like the food on Michael? Yeah. What was your favorite food you tried? The brownie. The brownie, of course. What about you, June Book? Brownie. Brownie, yeah. Crazy Nana? Uh, probably the sub. That Italian sub was, I mean, even little man back there was eating up that Italian sub. He loved it. All of it was delicious, though. I tell you what, the, the, the topiaries, the, 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 the umbrellas that you see over there, I guess, over there. On Show Street, Show Street is beautiful. Loved it. If you get a chance to come up here and experience the flower and food festival, I highly recommend it. The first year Dollywood's done it, next year probably be even bigger. Uh, we showed you a little bit of the social distancing, what all it took to get in the park, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Wasn't that bad, it really wasn't. Still have our wristbands on, 
still have a mask on, as you see. It hasn't been that bad of a day. Look crazy, Michael's still out there being crazy. We are stuffed though. So, now I'm going to find a place to lay down. While we do that, please hit the subscribe button. Please give us the video a thumbs up and please leave us a comment. And if you ever, ever see us anywhere in the park or anywhere else, be sure to stop and say hey to me. We'd love to meet you. So, we'll see you next time.